Good morning, class. Our topic for today is the four macro skills. And it is similarly to receptive skills and productive skills. All of the skills we will gonna be tackled it um, later on but before that let us have first review or recalling our topic yesterday or the lesson that we've been discussed yesterday anyone in the class who are gonna tell me what is the topic that we've been discussed yesterday yes thank you thank you very much so we've done already to recalling the topic yesterday so now we okay let's go to our powerpoint presentation as what you can see in the first slide it is our lesson the receptive and productive skills you're gonna be thinking of what is the connection of it to the macro skills and you're gonna find it once you listen carefully and be alert okay so the next slide was about the objectives at the end of the lesson the students are expected to deeply understand the concept of macro skills participate on activity given by the teacher and that's and that's me um literacy is apply learnings on the assessment and that is the application that you need or you should do you should need to do okay on our third slide we have motivational activity will anyone tell me or guess what the feature shows anyone anyone in the class okay the man is what that's what the feature illustrated the man is reading correct the man is reading how about this second picture what does the second picture tells about or illustrated the young boy is what is anyone is speaking correct how about our third picture the woman is The third picture, what does, what does it shows? The woman is, the woman is what? The woman is writing. How about the four picture and it is the last? The old man is listening correct okay we now have two eight slides um what are the four macro skills based on the picture illustrated or indicated at the right side can you determine what are the four skills or the four macro skills or at 
the same time, they are belong to receptive and productive skills. We're going to be talking a little later on. But now, our focus is, or I'm asking, determine the four macro skills. Students. Listening, speaking, reading, writing, that are the four macro skills. Okay. Language teaching covers four macro skills needed for what? Needed for what? For communicating. And those are the four macro skills. The listening, the speaking, the reading, and the writing. Good language teacher or teachers plan lessons and sequences of lessons. So, which include a mixture of all the macro skills rather than focusing on developing only one macro skills at a time. So, four macro skills are the important or important aspects in human's development. Okay? Listening and speaking. So, let's move to let's move to this to the ninth slide. So, as what that shows here, we now have a table that shows the four skills. We now uh Receptive skills, productive skills, oral skills, literacy skills, and the four macro skills here. Okay. Listening and speaking are what? Are under oral skills. Reading and writing are literacy skills. Each, each week teacher should include some activities which focus on developing the student's oral skills like what fair and group interactions and games and some activities which focus on literacy skills like reading and analyzing text and then students write their own the four macro skills can also be grouped another way okay listening and reading are receptive skills since learners need to process and understand language being communicated to them in spoken or written form. While speaking and writing are known as the productive skills, since learners need to produce language to communicate their ideas in either speech or text. Okay, so we've done to the table to discuss it and now Let's move on to uh, to review the four macro skills. Let me uh, read. Let me read it. So, as what you can see, let's go first to the listening skill. Listening skill is the ability to accurately receive and interpret messages and the communication process. At the right side of the screen, of your screen, uh, it shows the processes of how listening skill works. We have the stages. Stage one is the receiving. Stage two is understanding. Stage two is remembering. Stage two is evaluating. Stage five is the feedback. Let's go first to the stage one. Stage one is the receiving. It is the intentional focus on hearing a speaker's message. Stage two is understanding. We attempt to learn the meaning of the message, which isn't easy. Stage two is remembering. It begins with 
listening, if you can't remember something that was said, you might not have been listening effectively. Stage two is evaluating. Evaluations of the same message can vary widely from one listener to another. And the stage five is the responding, sometimes referred to as feedback. It's your reaction to the message. It can be emotional and intellectual. Second skill is speaking skill or speaking skills. It is defined as the skills which allow us to communicate effectively. They give us the uh, ability to convey information verbally and in a way that the listener can understand. So, we now have two, the third skill or the third macro skill. It's a reading skills. Is, is or are the abilities that pertain to a person's capacity to read, comprehend, interpret, and decode written language and text. And next is, or is, uh, um, the last skill is the writing skills. It includes all the knowledge and abilities related to expressing ideas through the written word. So now we are done to um, explaining the four macro skills and the relationship to each other. So to test your um, learnings, to test your knowledges on this discussion, I want you students to have an activity. It is a group activity that needs teamwork and cooperation to each other. Each student need to prepare a one one paper and a glue to um to put uh to combine those pictures to create a meaning uh, I your teacher I'll be giving you 10 minutes to do this activity. There's an equivalent point for those who finish early as soon as possible. So now let's move to the continuation of our discussion. So what is the connection between receptive and productive skills. So, as what I put in here in my PowerPoint presentation, it says learners receive input and modeled language. So, therefore, it enters to what? It enters to receptive skills because um, because students um listening and reading to inculcate the words going into the mind of her or his of of him rather to uh, create to create Im images and create a meanings so the next is to followed by an output so therefore uh this followed by an output will go to productive skills because output means it's like an application to do your own now to do an action with your own knowledges with your own skills For further explanation, for you to better understand, let me explain the deeply connection of receptive and productive skills. It's important for teaching activities to be designed so that learners receive input and modeled language through 
listening, and reading activities. Before they are expected to produce modeled structures in their own speaking and writing. Listening and reading activities prepare students to be able to speak and write their own text. To take an example of a speaking activity to enable students to talk about their family, a teacher might ask each student to prepare a profile of their family for an oral presentation to the class. Like the example of that I prepared in my PowerPoint presentation, as what you can see in that screen. My family lives in Tomot. Our house is big. Dad cats the grass. I have three brothers. Their names are Asher, Baren, and Kennedy. We have a dog called Mary. Nana lives with us too. My auntie comes for a dinner every night. So, we are now on the next slide. To take an example of a writing activity to enable students to write about what they did in the holidays or on the weekend, a teacher might set an activity in which each student writes a recount of an event. Here is an example of written by Yuval Laray student, featured on the Board of Studies and is W 2003 or Aboriginal Languages K-10 Assessment for Learning and Standards Reference Framework CD Room. As what you can see in, in your screen, that is the example of the writing activity. It's entitled Pig Hunting. So now, let us read the short story about pig hunting. I went pig hunting with my dad and uncle. We went in the truck. My dog came to. We saw a great big pig. We will catch the pig, I said. My dog chased the pig. The pig killed my dog. I ran to the dog. My leg is sore. Dad picked me up. We went home. So that is... A story of a writing activity. So now, let's move to the next question. How do you teach receptive skills? Both listening and reading are receptive skills. For a teacher to be sure that learners have understood a spoken or written text, they need to demonstrate their understanding through a response. The response may be a verbal response, answering questions orally when the teacher asks students one by one around the class. The second response is a physical, an action in a total physical response activity. Then the third one is a creative response or visual representation, listening to a talk about local places and drawing a map of them, reading a description of a person and drawing them, and the Fourth one is a written response, listening to a reading a text and writing answers to multiple choice, true or false, short answer comprehension questions, sentence completion activities. And the fifth one is the completion or a completing, completing rather, completing a closed passage. Receptive skills involve bottom-up and top-down processing. From the top-up, teachers ensure that students know the sounds and spelling system word roots and suffixes, and build up to phrases, sentences, and paragraphs. If students understand and can analyze smaller components of language, they can build up understanding longer text in the language. So now we're done to our discussion. Is there any questions? Okay, none. Let's move to our application. Okay, let's move to our quiz. Thank you. Let's move to our assignments. Thank you and thank you, students.